Hello everybody, welcome back to Daggerfall. Episode 8. I have no idea what I'm doing next, to be honest. Um, we just did a mission for one of the Lords of Wayrest, uh, Lord Helseth, I think his name was. And he gave us a little bit of information, but it doesn't seem to have furthered our main quest at all. Um, so, apparently King Lysandus, the king we are kind of investigating, the one that's dead, <laughs> uh, he had some kind of disagreement with a King Cameron, and I'm not entirely certain what the details were, but somehow the orcs, the orcs of Got Gotwog, Gotwog the Lord, Orc Lord, or something, uh, are involved and we need to try and investigate these people. I have no idea where to start though. It's really annoying. I don't seem to be able to ask anyone about these people. There's no options for asking about the things I really care about. I don't even know who this King Cameron guy was, but maybe we should go find him and talk to him. Who knows? Uh, we still, like, on the advice of the princess, we're meant to get in close with the Queen Mother of Daggerfall. But I've tried talking to everyone in the castle, so I don't know what to do there. I could try again, I suppose. Um, I don't suppose King Cameron was the King of Sentinel. No, he can't have been. Maybe he is. Maybe, mm, who knows? I tried going to Sentinel. I've spoken to all the all of the NPCs in the castle there as well. So I, mm, I'm just kind of lost now. I have no leads. It's really kind of annoying, actually. All I have is go and talk to the royal families of the different fiefdoms, Daggerfall, Wayrest and Sentinel. Well, in Wayrest we got a quest. We got two quests in Wayrest. Daggerfall we got nothing, Sentinel we got nothing. So the only thing I can do is try again, I suppose. Right. This is the second time I've had this quest from the Queen in Daggerfall. Um, although last time the reward was different. It's not money. This is this is interesting. This might be a main quest. Okay, I'm going to try and do it and we'll see. My husband's poor grandmother, Noel Fagger is rumoured to be very frail in health, her once brilliant mind is almost utterly destroyed, she's locked herself in her castle, uh, Rothgarden, Rothgarian Mountains, oh, in the Rothgarian Mountains, and experiments in magical studies with no reward for her own safety. So this is actually sending me to a completely different zone, the Rothgarian Mountains. Yeah, this could be it, guys. Okay, um, I would know of her condition, but few possess the bravery to face the horrors of her castle and speak with her. My reward for a report on her is a turquoise. A turquoise? I don't know if that means a turquoise gemstone or something. Uh, will you be my champion? I guess I'll do it. By the beard of Thorig, I am glad to have found a champion. The name of her castle is Shedon Ghent. Weird name. And it should not take you longer than 150 days to go there. If she is insane, Shigundent may be a very dangerous place indeed. Be very careful. May Kanara and Mara protect you. Alright. I think this might be a main quest, guys. I'm not entirely certain. But I'm going to do it anyway. And if it turns out to be nothing, I'll probably just cut it out of the video. We'll see. 
Right, I don't know how much of that you guys just saw, but I just tried to go into the castle and my game crashed. <laughs> and I've not had it crash like that before, so it's a bit weird. It said Daggerfall er encountered error 2 or something. I don't know what that means. Hopefully it's not going to stop us from proceeding with the game. Anyway, I'm just heading back to the castle. Um, to get the quest again and then oh. and then I'll save it before we try and go into the uh, into the castle I don't want a broadsword all right so if I deny it and I like I can get different rewards I wonder why the reward is like randomized Seems a bit weird. Oh, she doesn't have the quest anymore. Shit. Do I have to, like, wait a day or something to be able to pick it up again? Right. I want to try something here. I'm going to save. And see. Alright, she's offering a ruby this time. So if I say new. And then reload. Boom. Short sword. So I could just get a reward that I actually care about. If I do this enough. Open tunic, eh? I wonder if these are going to be enchanted or what. I mean, it seems like a pretty shitty reward for a, a half-year adventure. Oh, here we go. A talk. I will do that. <laughs> oh, wait. Is it in a different place now? Okay, it's definitely part of the main quest, because it's ended up on the bottom of the main quest area. Okay. No, it's the same place. Yep, same, same quest. It's just a different reward. Cool. So, I finally have a proper quest to do. Let's hope that this is going to lead somewhere good. Right, so, last time, I came up to the castle and I clicked on a door and I crashed instantly. I clicked on that door there, I think. So maybe there's a different entrance? I don't think there is. Alright, if I'm going to crash again, this could be a problem. I'm going to have to... Go and try and find a fix. Right. Let's see if it crashes. No, it loaded. Excellent. Well then, here we go. Tapestry. Oh, command me and entry shall be yours. Open. It's a magically held lock and my FPS just plummeted. Sometimes takes a little while to stabilise again. God, why you do this to me, game? Stop. Stop it. I don't know why sometimes the game loads and the FPS goes right down and then other times it's fine. It doesn't seem to matter which area I'm in or what's loaded, it's just random so it says command me and I will open I wonder if I have to go find a clue to find out what the password is oh shit zombies oh man I can kill zombies now well, that's an improvement Probably going to be running around in this dungeon for a while. Why is this like this? There is a gate here. I see. So I'll probably just come back to you guys when I found something. 
something of interest. It's a very quiet dungeon, this. There's no music. It's kind of eerie, creepy. Ah, what is this? This is a weird room. Okay. Oh, shit. Snuck up on me. Can't carry that. Never mind. Oh, hello. Oh, I think this might be it, guys. I've found someone. She looks like an old hag. Let's not take any risks here and save the game. Choosing out a few words most horrible. Let none of let none them read. What? Verses versus fame which with and other spells like terrible. Curses heaven. What is this going? What's going on here? Curse Oblivion, my boy. My boy is dead and let Tamriel tremble until he and I find of peace and den denied. Shut up the door to his tomb and my home. What the hell did that mean? What was that all about? Is this the lady I'm meant to be investigating? It is. So am I done here? Should I be reporting back to the Queen? Now that I know that she's completely fucking mad? <laughs> she's completely fucking mental. I'll tell you that much. Command me and entry shall be yours. Shit. Is that the way out? Did I miss something in all this text that was like the password? Right, I'm guessing this like goes straight to the exit, um, but I don't have the password so I'm going to have to run through the dungeon again, aren't I? How annoying. I can't even rest. Ah, okay, I'm back to the exit. Why is there a penis on that tapestry? <laughs> what the hell? Um, so yeah, I am I feel like the old lady probably told me what the, uh, the command was to open the door, and I just didn't pick up on it. I kind of want to go back and check the video to see. I might do that real quick before we head over to, to Daggerfall. So, let me save here again, and I'll see you guys back at Daggerfall, I guess. Right, back in Daggerfall on my way to the castle. I had a quick look back at the footage for what the old lady was saying. I could not spot any sense in the gibberish. It was just a, a mess. So I didn't work out what the password was. I don't know, I don't know if maybe you meant to get told the password later on. To go back to talk to her again, maybe? I don't know. Or else I was just missing something. But we made it through the dungeon anyway, so that's fine. It, it wasn't the most exciting dungeon, so I probably cut most of that out, to be honest. I don't know yet, I've not edited this video. Let's go speak to the Queen, and hopefully I've done things right. Did I done good, Miss Queen? I confess I doubted you would ever see you again. Your news that Nalfalga is still among the living does my heart much good. Here is your talk. Where's my necklace gone? Did I forget to equip it? I must have forgotten to equip it. Alright then. Cool. Is that it? Is that... Hang on. Hmm. Back to square one again. 
So I'm hoping that doing that quest has unlocked a new one, so I now need to go and talk to all the people again? Possibly? Who knows? Um, how do I find out what this does? I don't see any blue things. So I don't think it buffs any of my stats. Press button to find a spell. What button? Hmm. I don't know if I want this because my other one actually gives me endurance. So oh, I can have them both. Okay, it's okay. We're all good. Um. Yeah. I guess I'm going to go back to searching for the next quest then. So I guess I'll be back when I find an NPC that seems like it's worth something. I don't know. Okay, this one looks interesting. It's not got, got a money reward, so it could be important. I've got to take an amulet to the palace in Alding wall and find a well-to-do merchant that will be and a weird mouse to ham okay five days or less I can't tell how this quest thing works because a lot of the time Usually when I get a like, little side mission, it comes up here, at the top of the list. But this one's come up at the bottom, which makes me think it's a main quest, or part of the main quest. It's very weird. Let's check, where was it? Alding Wall. We've got five days. Right, and we need to go to... And do we master ham? Oh wait, does it say palace? To the Alding Wall Palace, okay. Yeah. Because usually side missions would take you somewhere into the town rather than into the palace, I think. Seems interesting though. Is that the palace? It's a very small palace, but then again, this is not a very big city, so could be. Not sure how I feel about being the noble's errand boy at the moment, but if it makes me popular, who cares? Is this the palace? Hello? Looking for a wealthy merchant man. Uh-huh. Ah, here we go. Did Lady Bridwell not give you something for me? For damnation, if this is one of his tricks. Oh, a lovely amulet. It's from Lady Bridwell. Well, perhaps this is just a misunderstanding after all. Here's 200 gold for each services. Thank you very much. Good sir. Is that everything? What? Well, I've done it. Do I leave and go back to the lady now? <laughs> Not very clear instructions. Doing an awful lot of running around for people at the moment. Oh uh, no. I wanted to talk to you about the quest you gave me. I guess I did it. I don't... I don't know. Or maybe I was meant to be there and back again in five days and I messed it up. It just said get there in five days and I got there in three. So I definitely delivered it on time, I just... I'm very confused. 
Alright, this is another potential quest to get me into the the circles of Daggerfall. Uh, now then, my friend is Agrastia Hearthcroft of Eastwell Commons. He has lost a gem, a sapphire, and my spies have tracked it down to Christina Cultus of all places. Uh, if it's not in his hands in 20 days, there will be considerable trouble. Wait, is Christina Cultus a place? What? Eastwell Commons in 20 days with the Sapphire. Yeah, I guess Christina... Christine? Christina Crocktus must be a place. Weird. Weird name for a place. Uh, again, it's ended up at the bottom of the list. So it very well could be part of the main quest. I just don't know. So this looks like the entrance to a randomly generated dungeon, which is what you usually used for the... Uh, for the side missions. Which makes me think that maybe this is not part of the main quest. So I just don't freaking know. Okay. Back to dungeon crawling mode. Let's go warp speed and find this damn sapphire. Open up the door. Don't have time to be picking locks. Oh shit, it's a harpy! Ah! Never, never fought one of those before. It's the first, first for the, for the game. Sesame. Come on. There he is. Ah, stupid giant. Ooh, what is this? Well, I definitely can't take that with me. But I found a sapphire, which is probably the thing I'm meant to take. Right? I really wish I could take that, but there's just not enough space. Hmm, 7.5 kilos for that thing. It's probably worth a lot of money too.
But is it worth three fifteen hundred? Probably actually. Okay, I'll drop these books for that axe. Can't even do that. It's not enough space. How much does this cost? That should be enough space. Did I just drop four books? Why is that not enough space? That should be enough space, damn it. Remove the Daedra heart. There we go. I found the sapphire. Job done. Now I've just got to get out of here. Alive. Um, no idea which way is the way out, so... Just going to continue. Okay, found my way out of the dungeon. At long, long last. Uh, let's have a look at the quest. Uh, we're meant to take it to the Hearthcroft residence in the East War Eastwell Commons. Yes. Uh, 20 days total. Probably used a couple of days resting in that dungeon, to be honest. Eastwell Commons. Let's go. Six days. I'm sure that's fine. I still don't know if this is meant to be a main quest or not. That dungeon did not feel like a main quest dungeon. It felt like a randomly generated one. So I'm really not certain. Let me get over to this guy and hand in. Um, probably going to have to end off the episode after this quest. I don't know actually. I've been recording for quite some time now. And I don't know how much of that is going to get cut out. Or whether I'm going to have to make this a two-parter. So, yeah. Here we are. Halfcroft Residence. Where's the oh, where's the freaking door? Ouch! Here it is. Just gonna save it in case we have glitches. Mr. Halfcroft, hello. Oh, Dirgit, you don't know how relieved I am that you found that sapphire. I don't even want to think about it if you hadn't. Here's the finest reward I can give you: a claymore. Nice. I can't fucking take that. It's so freaking heavy. Ugh. Thanks a lot, buddy. I should have sold my stuff before I came here, shouldn't I? I don't know if... Oh, yeah, thanks a lot. I just did all that freaking work for you, and then you just... Can't even be bothered. So I've completed this quest now. Why does it not disappear from your quest log when you've completed it? very weird anyway I suppose that's probably the end of the episode guys so hope you enjoyed and we will continue our missions in Daggerfall next time <laughs>